Here at Scion, we study trees. How they grow, what they can be used for, and importantly, what we can do to make them grow stronger, healthier, and faster. Or what species is best suited for a particular site or product. Hi, my name is Peter Harrington. I'm the nursery manager here at Scion. Like all life, the life of a tree starts right here in the nursery. The nursery has a long history of developing nursery systems to service New Zealand forestry. In fact, most of the nurseries in New Zealand and the Southern Hemisphere use systems and equipment developed here at our nursery. We have our own research programs at the nursery, but also support other science research groups such as the Forest Genetics Group, Forest Health and Forest Management. The nursery also supports contract research for outside agencies like the Radiata Pine Breeding Company. We manage research from start to end. We also offer a consulting service where we carry out nursery feasibility analyses or visit nurseries to assist solving their problems. Using both bare root and containerised technology, the nursery uses its latest research to grow commercial scale crops to demonstrate scale application of its net research. This aids in technology transfer to the industry and means we're able to provide a specialist service to customers with special tree needs. Our large container facility is a good example of this, meeting the growing demand for containerised tree stocks for specialist forest planting situations. Grafting is a skilled job requiring experience and dexterity. For many trees, it is the only way to propagate mature specimens. Here at the nursery, we have grafting programs for both radiata pine and several other species. Grafted trees are grown for commercial seed orchards and for research programs, especially those for forest health research. Here are last year's graphs, all labelled and ready for dispatch to a seed orchard or trial site. One of our research areas is making indigenous forestry cheaper and more efficient. Traditionally, indigenous plantings have involved large container trees like this, which are very expensive to plant and get established and transport and grow, and offering a barrier to both conservation forestry and production forestry. So we're investigating a number of different systems for growing indigenous. This includes bare root technology, like these beech here, grown just like we grow our radiata and forestry crops. And here we've got kanuka for revegetation projects, also being grown bare root. The other way we're looking at growing trees a lot cheaper is in small forestry containers so that we can get these out into the forest at a much lower cost and get them planted at a much lower cost as well. Some of these are being used by councils and iwi to regenerate programs. We also apply this expertise to our indigenous and in some cases endangered species, especially those that have irregular seed years and need a bit of a hand to reproduce. Like our Alconic kauri or the endangered nutakaka or kakabi. There are only 109 plants left in the wild. In fact, there's more on this table than there are growing in the native forests. New Zealand's forests are one of the most valuable resources and vital to the country's economy. Here at Sion Nursery, we're helping strengthen that economy by growing the next generation of strong, healthy trees.